Hey everyone, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel and go over to our home, doubletoasted.com for more videos and live streams. And remember, stay toasty. Cowabunga dudes! What's wrong, what's wrong with y'all, man? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> We're alive! We're alive! You're not feeling your turtleness right now. This is a very special night as we prepare for our very special night. You didn't do it properly. No, you didn't cowabunga <laughs> when I needed you to cowabunga. You're a bad leader. That's <laughs> 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 uh, yes, people, welcome. It is a special night. Martin, you look, you look like you're having trouble over there, sir. Come, Maybe. <laughs> come, come on. Who said man. that? Yo, you can't see? <laughs> oh, yes, Martin. <laughs> Ninja Turtle. You know you want to sing this. Oh, look at that pizza on it. <laughs> yes. Turtles in a half shell. Martin Power. <laughs> okay. You, you look like the brown hornet. Oh. <laughs> but but Sammy really does look like a ninja turtle. Oh, that's all right, Martin, because people talking about you, they're looking like blank man. <laughs> <laughs> How could you that, that's, that's, that's fair. <laughs> wow, you really do, people. Welcome to the show, everybody. If you're listening, well, you're missing out because we all got our turtle mask <laughs> on right there. Is cool. that what this is? That's what they, uh, uh, you look, I thought I, it was kind of mi some medieval torture <laughs> instrument. <laughs> I like the way Martin, you can't even see us. He's talking to you like I'm, I'm, I'm up inside. <laughs> yeah, man, it's crazy. <laughs> talking that lamp out behind him and shit. <laughs> but yes, people. Uh, my man Sammy did the arts and crafts yes, for us today. Again. Yeah, I didn't even ask him to do this, so you can blame him for that. <laughs> I didn't say that. I, I didn't commission this, but he worked so hard on it, Martin. So I don't want to. I don't think he did. Man, you know, <laughs> this no, this is, this looks painful, man. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah you're so tight. I don't know. Your eyelids keep it poking on. out, man. Yeah, it's so, gonna look like Mr. Rogers, just like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you gonna be all right though, man. I don't know. I, don't I mean, think he is, man. I mean if you gotta take out. it, if you gotta take it off, you can, Run sir. Put it on your hat. Do rag. <laughs> if you, oh, there you go. There you go. You got it. Just you. Can, <laughs> you just gotta last through the review, brother. That's all. That's all, people. I am Leonardo. Welcome to the movie review extravaganza. Over here, my brothers Donatello and uh, the very temperamental Raphael over there. Even bitches over there well, on pizza. We got uh, Mikey. Mikey. Yeah, Michelangelo. <laughs> Martin, take that shit off. Because the whole time you sit on me looking like Ray Charles and shit. You just. <laughs> He's, He's got it tight, man. I feel like it's cutting off the circulation in his mind. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, take that off, man. Because, <laughs> I mean, I commend you, brother, for trying to go with a gag. But you going to pass yeah, out over yeah, here. Yeah, cutting, <laughs> cutting, cutting I'll the, tell you what I think about this. <laughs> cutting the blood flow off to his brain right now. <laughs> oh. There you go. <laughs> Are going? we on? <laughs> yeah, y'all. Uh, you know, a lot of people saw that first movie. You know, the one that uh, Michael Bay produced. Mm-hmm. A lot of people out there saying, man, you know, I don't know about this. This ain't the turtles I grew up with. I remember looking at it like this is exactly the turtles you grew up with. I mean, yeah. I mean, it fit the 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 bill of teenage mutant ninja turtles. Uh, every everything you would tell me about the plot or the 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 origin, it was all there. It was there. It had it had some decent, some really good action sequences. Yeah, and then people came up and say, "Well, you know, I don't, I ain't, they ain't put what I like in there. They ain't had Krang in there." <laughs> They didn't have what's what's that the Bebop and Rocksteady. Bebop and Rocksteady weren't mm -hmm. they didn't have that dude to turn to a fly, Baxter Gordon. Baxter. Mm -hmm. They didn't have them in there. Now now they listen to you. Yep. They still trying to satisfy you. They put them all in there. And of course we have back the main stars. Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, and old asshole is Raphael. <laughs> Always mad about something. Roid Rage. Roid Rage. <laughs> yeah, he really is roided out. In this movie, this is exactly what you're asking for now. So we got Shredder who's coming back, but Shredder is in cahoots now with a strange alien being from another world, another dimension, another planet. And if he joins up with this alien with stronger powers, then he will take over the world. In the middle of his powers, he has the power to change people into mutants just like the turtle. Probably bigger, stronger mutants like Bebop and Rocksteady. They're a fucking pig and something else. What? What? The, what Rhino. Rhino. Oh, there they go right there about to make out. You know, this... <laughs> <laughs> it's that kind of movie, yeah. kid. <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man. <laughs> Got his head on his ass right now. <laughs> what <laughs> I want to know what love is. Here's the thing about... These movies that uh, Michael Bay is producing, I feel like I've already done this review because I'm going to say the same thing I'm saying about that movie probably that I'm saying here. Maybe a little something different as we go along. But let me just start out by saying, for those who are complaining about these movies, what do you want? 
What is it that's missing here? What is it that y'all don't like? Because I don't know if I said this or I might have. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but if you've been in a coma since 1984 <laughs> and you woke up today and somebody set you in a the theater and you just looked up at the screen and, did, and saw all this crazy shit, I could understand you at that moment being like, what the fuck is this? Yo, oh, yeah. But if you've been around all these years, if you were even somewhat familiar with the turtles, this is just like what you growing up with. Yeah, I mean it's it's the it's the cartoon on steroids, but it's this it pretty much besides not looking like the cute turtles right here. I mean We're really hip. Don't tell me about the dialogue. We're really hip. Cowabunga, dude. Pizza, man. You know, don't tell me about no dialogue. They've been talking this crazy shit all these years. Now, here's another thing. I love the, the 90s movie, but come on. You know, they were just big-ass Muppets. Rubber Muppets. And some people even jumped on my ass when I talked about the TV show Nickelodeon not too long ago. I said, man, that's the shittiest looking CG I've ever laid my eyes on. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And people jumped on my ass. Right, you just, it gets the essence of the turtles right. You just don't understand. You too old for this shit now. I was too old when it was about back then. But I gave it a chance. People even out there defending that old nasty ass porn parody. Pass me some pizza. Do you want it with pepperoni? I've already got a pepperoni. It's long and green and it's in my pants. I am a furry. People <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you didn't know. Just Martin. in case you didn't know, Martin. And some people out there who are Turtles fans even talking about, oh man, they got they got they got Splinter right in that. <laughs> I mean he is furry. He wears that red kimono. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ain't no kimono, that's a robe. That's a porn robe. <laughs> For those people who are complaining out there saying that this don't capture turtle don't, don't you don't you dare don't you dare even say a, a word like you can say anything you want to but don't you dare say these ain't the turtles that i know no fuck you fuck you, <laughs> you, you, you what it is now i tell you what exactly what, what is happening now they look more realistic and now you're looking at it like oh shit this is stupid now you're 25 27 30 years old you're looking at this shit once they put it in reality once they put it in the real world yeah. you're like man this is dumb <laughs> the whole bunch of theories like i was a stupid <laughs> like, what's going on wait a minute if i go back and rewatch the old ones that those will be the good ones <laughs> Oh, no. dear Lord. <laughs> no, you were eight. <laughs> That's what happened. Here's the thing. There are some things out there that they've made adaptations of that are downright horrible because they did miss the essence of it. Martin, you remember back in the day? Martin, you were, you were underdog. Right? <laughs> I, I just brought this up last night. <laughs> did you? <laughs> yes, yeah, he, did. yes, I did. <laughs> you were underdog fan. Yeah. There's no need to fear underdog. Is it underdog? They fucked underdog sideways. They fucked him up. So they took a cartoon dog that stands on two legs, flexes muscles, and talks and raps. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Talks and rhyme. Talks and rhyme. And replaced him with a real dog that sounded like what, Matthew Broderick or uh, something? J Jason. Uh, Swordsman? No, no. Uh, uh, Kevin Smith's uh, oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The uh, dude, no, the other the one. The dude hanging out the chipmunks. My name is Earl. Oh, Jason. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Who gives a fuck right there? Yeah. But, <laughs> But yeah, now that's where they missed the mark right yeah, there. Yeah, completely missed it. So they, when do you think it's going to come out the Disney vault since this is a Disney movie? Oh, yeah, we're waiting on that live action. <laughs> right there. <laughs> but, but you know, uh, they, they, uh, they, they, they took that and they missed the mark of it. They didn't capture the essence of anything right there. It's a bad ab adaptation, and, and the cartoon was stupid. But, you know, it, it still was dear to some people. So with this right here, with these turtles, yeah, this, it, it, it's stupid. But it's been stupid. The cartoon was the most, and it's okay because the cartoon was meant for kids. It was bizarre, it was crazy, and they threw things in there that they just knew kids would love to see. The kids love seeing shit go wild. Mm -hmm. One of the things, and y'all gonna hate me for saying this, y'all might hate me for saying this too. John, Joe, y'all might wanna leave. I mean, can you deal with this knowledge I'm about to kick right in? The thing is, is that you got movies out there like Batman versus Superman. Mm -hmm. You got you got a, 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 a X Men, mm -hmm. Transformers. I will even give you, to a certain extent, slightly even Marvel movies. Fantastic Four. <laughs> Fantastic Four. Well, all the all these movies have in common where they're trying to be serious. They're trying to be dark. They're trying to be moody. 
and somewhere in the middle of it, somebody throws a CG grenade and that shit blows up <laughs> and it goes fucking nuts. Characters be trying to like deliver serious dialogue, you know, and they just start fighting for some reason. They don't even know why. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, shit, I don't know why I'm fighting. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I'm fighting because you was fighting. <laughs> but here, let's see, they try to be serious, but it gets dumb. I don't care what you say, they get downright fucking stupid. It's nice to see something start out stupid <laughs> and go hand in hand with that CG right there. I, it is one big, dumb, loud movie that is enjoying itself. It's like somebody gave an eight-year-old $100 million to make a movie. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, this is one of the things that they did, and it's what they, I thought they captured the best out of the cartoons was it was a frantic pace. Like, there was a lot of stupid stuff in this movie, but they didn't give you time to sit down and think about it because something <laughs> would happen, like a plane would explode or something crazy would happen. <laughs> Look, I like the Turtles. I read the black and white comic books back then, but it was, it, it was the reason why people read it because they were like, I can't believe somebody wrote wrote this shit. I mean, it was parody of something that was super popular at the Daredevil. time. Daredevil and the mutant part because X-Men was super popular. Those are like the, the two biggest popular books. So it's like, hey, let's do a, a parody of both of those things in one. And it's like, okay, we'll make it like a one shot or a small series. And, and for whatever reason, oh, I know what it was. There was a lot of speculation on number one issues. And everybody went to ha have a number one and they inflated the market. And that's what that was all about. <laughs> this is one of those films where you can watch it and say, yeah, when they say that, uh, CG characters are going to replace humans at some point. They kind of got a point here because all the humans in this movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With, with the humans in this movie, replacing them with CGI wouldn't be such a bad thing. When a, when a, notice. <laughs> when, a, when, a, when a cartoon CG turtle is doing better acting than you are, that says something about not only this movie, but the state of movies today probably. The, Megan Fox returns, and she ain't terrible but, yeah. she, but she but she ain't that good what's your name what's that stacy moans oh uh, i said casey, casey jones, jones bitch <laughs> <laughs> give me your number <laughs> you know man a lot of people like to uh, attack her 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 acting because i mean because she's pretty i mean not just pretty she's actually extremely sexy mm -hmm. and i hear people especially women but even dudes like oh she's so plastic or she they, she can't act she's terrible and i was like like you know what back off she hasn't had roles that call for her to be any more than what she is yeah that said, I did think she was kind of terrible in this. Man, I, I mean, I mean, there was like in the beginning, I was like, she's okay, like, she's just she's just being, <laughs> she's just being the April O'Neil she was. But it was later in the movie, I was like, all right, she's kind of standing out as just bad. In, I don't know, man. I feel among like, everything else, oh, I feel like she was. I think she did much better in this movie than she did in the first one because in this one, I felt like she was embodying April and actually helping out more. Like in the first one, she seemed more of a damsel in distress, more of a plot device. But yeah. in this one, she was actually assisting the turtle. Well, like, all right, you know, I can help you get. Okay, this. but you're speaking to her character. What's written and i'm just talking about more of her actual delivery oh well i mean even her i, I still think her acting quality went up I mean, keep in mind it went from like a 10 out of, to like a 20 out of 100 yeah but it still went up <laughs> yeah i mean you know <laughs> i mean we went at the bottom of that pit ain't nowhere to go but up but, yeah. but I, I agree with you man like i mean when we say your acting has improved in a turtles movie that don't say oh, <laughs> don't, don't put that on your resume <laughs> yeah because now if y'all want to sit up here and complain about something if i mean if turtle canon and Kurt turtle lore really mean something to you Casey Jones his origin is different here and he is more of a pretty boy but that's what's his name Stephen Amell uh, Amell is he is he Arrow yeah, yeah. okay I wow, you really I, out of it <laughs> man I, I you know what I didn't even think that uh when I was looking at, at the trailer I thought okay he's gonna be shit but even even then I thought okay he has really shitty terrible lines to deliver but as an actor, he's doing the best he can. I, I felt, I felt, no, nah, no. Nah, I, I felt like the, the whole he had no direction other than, yeah. than don't be arrow, don't be arrow. <laughs> uh, okay, well, what's this character like? Well, he's kind of gritty. Oh yeah, like this. Oh, you're being arrow. Just stop, do the arrow don't, don't be arrow. <laughs> just, just be, put, just put a little bit more golly G in it. Okay, yeah. okay, I'll do that now, then. Now you see how this is. <laughs> Yeah, this is different. I don't watch Arrow, so I have, I have nothing to compare it against. So I'm like, oh, he's okay. Well, I mean, that was the thing too. Like, you know, Arrow is like this dark, gritty hero, which Casey Jones is. But if mm -hmm. we see him playing uh -huh. a dark, gritty <laughs> hero, we're like, that's Arrow. So they were like, all right, be be Casey Jones, but don't be Casey Jones. <laughs> no, that's the thing about it. Like Casey Jones, I'll give it to you. Even the cartoons, he's kind of a dark character. Yeah. Right? When he takes that mask off, he's like, oh boy. <laughs> did we to the park? Did we get him, man? <laughs> Pizza. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I really kick butt today, 
wait, didn't I? You know, it's like, it's like man, but it's a kids movie, you know. I get it. Man, even, I think even kids are yeah, yeah. yeah kids, kids are a lot more sophisticated these days. They yeah, know better man. than that. that <laughs> gold don't tell me that the same bar they'd be at every day. Oh, oh, oh of course they <laughs> are. <laughs> 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 I don't want to be threatening. He's not scary. He's like, I know. tell me where they are. <laughs> 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 I'm like, wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. He like he stole his daddy's watch. You know? But every time they do something shitty, what did we, you and I agreed that in the first movie we said, yeah, this is completely dumb. But so is the cartoon, which is taken from the source, and it's always followed up by some cool action to distract you. Time to take out the trash. <laughs> Again, followed by a shitty line. But Mar, we're not look. This ain't we ain't looking for the best dialogue in this movie. We Quentin Tarantino didn't write this shit, you know. <laughs> Christopher Nolan, <laughs> Ninja Turtles. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. There's, there's, there's only those two extremes: <laughs> Oscar-winning or shit, and nothing else in between. That. <laughs> look, I get what you're saying, man. I get what you're saying. What I man, look, what I love, like the. The Dark Knight of Turtles movies. Yeah, I would love that. But again, I know, and I know where this is coming from. I wouldn't. That I sounds wouldn't horrible. That. That sounds god awful. <laughs> okay, so you see. Yeah. I mean, I think they know what they're doing. If you're gonna, if you're gonna go full stupid, go full stupid. Thank they you. Went, they didn't pull the stops with that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you, want, you guys want to? You want to give uh, ratings here? We'll take your pick. One of them. Go ahead. <laughs> Martin, unless y'all got, Martin. unless y'all got more to add, don't let me. Oh, no, start I want to hear Martin. I uh, really do want to hear Martin. Martin, Martin start, you know how Martin started out cool, and he was kind of on the side. And the more uh, we talked, he just started getting angry. <laughs> what <laughs> you mean? <laughs> you want to say that conversation? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you are the angry one now, man. What do you mean, bro? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I I thought this movie was. It's, this movie is so bad that it made me really sit and question. How much did, did I really like that first one? Maybe I need to rewatch it again. I might completely change my mind. It's a kids movie, and how can you give a kids movie some old bullshit? They just didn't want to spend the time. They didn't want to spend the time. They didn't want to spend the money. Oh, if they don't want to invest in it, I'm not going to invest in it either. This movie's some old bullshit. Oh. I, I I really had no fun in it. Oh, oh, Mister. Mr. Goodwin. Wow. Um, the one, the target audience for this. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, hopefully it's children. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> As I said, the target audience for this. <laughs> <laughs> um, everything, there, keep in mind, there are some really bad, god-awful dialogue moments in this, oh, yeah. in this movie. Nothing and, but. And Martin's right. There, there was some parts <clears throat> at the end where the CG was just really poor. It was jarring. But that was the last, probably, what, 10 minutes of this movie. And I thought everything else was just fun, unadulterated. We don't give a shit. Well, I can't say this in the kids' review, but we don't give a <laughs> crap. <laughs> um, and with that, man, I'll go ahead and get this movie a matinee. I, maybe I'm defending this movie more than I should just because of the people with the nostalgia out there. You got to let your nostalgia go. <laughs> you making yourself look silly right now. <laughs> Some people out there are grown, and they should let that shit go. Either say, oh, this takes me back, or you should just let it go. But really... You know, your days of loving dumb shit is over. This is not yours anymore. <laughs> this does not belong to you. Let the, let, the, let the kids today have the dumb shit. Let them have their own dumb shit. Right. You know, I, when, when I'm looking at this, I was sitting next to a little girl, and the whole time she was watching this, you, Sammy saw her. Mm -hmm. Let's sit next to this little girl, and she was like, oh. Oh, you, she was into it, there man. Was some little boy like next to us who was just like this the whole movie. I'm like, Jesus. I, I, <laughs> look, it, Martin, I, I'm between... Corey Martin over here. Personally, for me, I, you know, I look at things from a filmmaking standpoint, from a story standpoint. If you go that route, it's, it's for me, not complete bullshit because it is for a certain audience, but it's a low rental, you know. But I'm looking at this for the kids, man. If you take your kids to see this, if I was a kid, I would think that this is completely badass. It's great to see a movie. This is PG-13, but it's, it's really not a PG-13 movie. They're doing yeah. that to get people in there. They say... Bitch and ass, I think one time from they, that point they, on. No, they say shit and, shit and ass, and uh, there was something else. Son of a bitch. They, one uh, yeah. Casey yeah. Jones says, "Son of a bitch." Mm -hmm. After that, 
nobody dies. They, uh, there was they, no blood. They, they, there's no blood. There's no cursing. They say butt instead of ass. I mean, this is, they know exactly who this is for. So what if it's stupid? Take your kids to see it. Take them for a matinee. Let them have a good time. <coughs> yeah, but what about this kid right over here? You know what? Let me hear what he had to say. Well, he, he, was, he, was, he was back he, there losing his did shit. Did you hear him? Yeah, yeah, I heard him. Anytime Michelangelo says something. <laughs> I mean, he told us last night when we left, he was already going to give it full price. Oh. Before even seeing it. Well, you know what? <laughs> he already went in knowing what he wanted from this uh-huh. and because he was cheering for things. They said, what was the Technodrome? technodrome. Yeah. yeah. And when they yeah. mentioned the Technodrome was coming down, he was like, yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even the eight-year-old girl was like, shh! Yeah. Go ahead. Better than Boy. sex. Better than everything. Better than Jaws. Better than Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm I don't know him. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. But, he ain't kidding. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Shut up. Better than sex right is real. No, no, no. no. <laughs> um, as of just the fan who I, I told Martin before, I said there are some things I'm willing to give, like give, give my disbelief and just buy into it and be a kid again. And I wanted that going to this movie, and for the most part, I got it. I'm gonna give it like a low matinee. I'm gonna give it matinee for myself. But take your kids to go see it; they'll be happy. Uh, if you want to rent it for them, that's okay. But your kids will love it in the theaters. You're not. <laughs> that's the thing. See, underdog, underdog go killed your spirit. Your mind. <laughs> no, we talked. Underdog killed the spirit. And I understand that. My spirit hasn't been broken yet. I'm probably not going to watch the new Power Rangers because that's where my spirit will be broken. But just let me have this. Power Rangers might be as good as this for you. I hope so. But you know what? How could it be worse? I don't know. It can't be as bad as Underdog. I'll give it that. Well, hey, Martin, you know what? If you <laughs> look, if you don't like that, we we got uh, <laughs> we always got the porn parody for you right here. I, I, I'll take this over. Yeah, we, you can have this right here. Pass me some pizza. <laughs> you want it with pepperoni? I've already got a pepperoni. It's long and green, and it's in my pants. Hey, man, there you go. It's, 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 it's an actual joke, and it's funny on some level. He's wearing pants. <laughs> hey, Martin. Martin. Let's get Martin turtle dick. That's all he <laughs> wants. Like, like, nit- we nitpicked that. Talk about the super computer. The motherfucker ain't got pants. So what would you like? It? He likes the puns. Yeah. Yeah, they should have more puns in this movie. I really think that. Yeah, Martin, you know what? There you go. See something you like right there? <laughs> 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 we give you some turtle dick, Martin. <laughs> Ten inches of it.